Welcome fight fans, horror hounds, and everyone in between. It's time for the main event. The one, the only, Ranking Rumble. Welcome back to WWH. My name is Andrew Dreamer. Get ready for a steel cage smackdown of epic proportions because tonight we're throwing the toughest, smartest, most scream queen worthy final girls in horror movie history into the ring. We'll be dishing out body slams of brutality, drop kicks of determination, and pile drivers of pure grit as we crown the ultimate champion. From the bloody streets of Elm Street to the chilling campgrounds of Crystal Lake, these ladies have faced every nightmare imaginable. But who will survive? Who will thrive? And who will ultimately claim the title of the baddest final girl to ever walk the earth? Let the ranking rumble begin. Our very first entrant, Julie James. The heart of I Know What You Did Last Summer is more than just a scared co-ed facing a killer. Sure, she screams and runs like any good final girl should, but Julie brings a surprising resilience to the table. Like a seasoned pro wrestler thrown into a hardcore match, she takes a beating, but keeps coming back for more. What are you waiting for, huh? What are you waiting for? Haunted by the hit and run that started it all, Julie wrestles with her guilt throughout the film. But when the body count starts rising, she throws on her ring gear and fights back. Maybe she doesn't hit her finisher, but she's not afraid to get her hands dirty. The reason she's here on the list is because she's basically saved by Ray in both films she appears in. In the white-knuckled horror of Hush, Maddie Young isn't your typical final girl. Unlike a wrestler with flashy moves, she relies on pure will and intelligence in the silent fight for her life. Deaf since contracting meningitis, Maddie's life is already a constant suplex of challenges, yet she's carved out a successful career and heads to a remote house to write her next book. Only, this ain't a five-star resort. When a masked assailant targets her, Maddie doesn't crumble. She uses her environment like a veteran grappler, turning her home into a web of improvised weapons and clever misdirections. She might not be throwing a lot of punches, but she uses the killer's underestimation of her to her advantage. You can't outrun him on that leg. I can't outrun him on that leg. The crossbow, but that has to be a perfect shot in the heart or in the brain. Heart or the brain. Anything else is not going to cut it. Won't cut it. By the brutal climax, Maddie's a bloody but unbowed champion, proving that survival in the face of silence requires more than just brawn. It takes guts, brains, and an iron will that won't be broken. By the way, don't miss a single bone-crushing upload. Hit that subscribe button, unleash the horrors, and become a member of the WWH universe. We're not just wrestling with horror. We're delivering it to your screen every week. In the swamp-soaked slasher flicks of the Hatchet franchise, Mary Beth Dunstan isn't your standard screaming final girl. Unlike a high-flying luchador, she relies on grit, resourcefulness, and a healthy dose of mean right hooks. The first film throws her into a chaotic battle royale with a group of tourists and a deranged Victor Crowley. While others panic and get picked off, Mary Beth scrambles to survive, adapting to the brutal environment like a street-wise brawler learning the ropes. She takes a beating, but like a true champion, she gets back up, bloodied but unbeaten. By the sequels, Mary Beth's transformed into a seasoned veteran. She faces Crowley with a mix of ingenuity and sheer willpower. Think Stone Cold Steve Austin entering a no disqualification match. <laughs> Mary Beth ain't afraid to get her hands dirty, using everything from shotguns to outboard motors to take down her opponent. She may not be flashy, but Mary Beth's pure determination and fighting spirit make her a champion in the Ultimate Swamp Brawl. Kirsty Cotton from Clive Barker's Hellraiser isn't your typical damsel in distress. Unlike the screaming teens who populate many horror films, Kirsty is a resourceful fighter. When her world gets dragged to hell, literally, by her scheming uncle and stepmother, as well as the nightmarish Cenobites, she doesn't crumble. 
Kirsty's intelligence and resourcefulness are her greatest weapons. She outwits the sadistic pinhead and his demonic entourage in a way that would make Eddie Guerrero proud. She uses the lament configuration and the Cenobites' own desires to manipulate the situation, turning enemies against each other and exploiting their weaknesses. This isn't for your eyes. You set me up, bitch. In a world of gore and monsters, Kirsty proves that brains and guts, both literal and metaphorical, are the keys to survival. Our number six entrant is Ellen Ripley from Alien, who is a force to be reckoned with. When the crew of the Nostromo stumbles upon a nightmarish alien life form, the men around her fold faster than a lawn chair under Andre the Giant. But Ripley, she's like a wrestler on the ropes, battling the creature and the incompetence of those around her with equal ferocity. Ripley's not just a tough woman, though. She's got brains, too. She's the crew's warrant officer, a technical whiz who can outmaneuver both the xenomorph and the malfunctioning ship's systems. While the muscle-bound Kane gets chest-bursted and Dallas goes out with a whimper worthy of a jobber facing the Undertaker, Ripley hatches a plan, outlasting and outsmarting everyone. She's the ultimate survivor, proving that in space no one can hear you scream, but they'll definitely hear you fixing the air duct with a flamethrower. <laughs> We're halfway through this rumble now. We've already had some heavy hitters, but we've got some even heavier hitters coming. Let me know what you think about the show so far. Jenny Field from Friday the 13th Part 2 has always been one of my favorite final girls. Unlike many horror heroines, she isn't afraid to get in the muck and fight back using any means necessary. This child psychology major uses her knowledge to manipulate the situation like a cunning Ric Flair pulling off a mind game on his opponent. But... Jenny is not all head games. When faced with Jason, she shows real guts, fighting back with everything she has. In the final showdown, she even uses the sweater of Jason's own mother against him, a brutal yet strategic move that would make the ultimate opportunist himself not in approval. Sure, Jenny might not have the bulging muscles of a wrestler, but her intelligence, resourcefulness, and surprising ruthlessness make her a worthy addition to the Friday the 13th franchise. Nancy Thompson from A Nightmare on Elm Street redefines the concept of the final girl. Unlike many horror protagonists who stumble through fear, Nancy actively confronts the nightmare plaguing her and her friends. But what makes her such a compelling final girl? Faced with a seemingly impossible threat, Nancy doesn't succumb to panic. She researches dream analysis, recognizing the dream world as the battleground. She gathers information, experiments with staying awake, and even pulls an all-nighter to understand her enemy's weakness. <laughs> Nancy doesn't wait for someone else to save the day. She actively seeks out information and confronts danger head on. Even venturing into the dream world, Freddy Krueger's domain takes immense courage. Nancy doesn't rely on a boyfriend or authority figure to protect her. While she does work with her boyfriend, Glenn, she ultimately devises and executes the plan to defeat Freddy herself. Sidney Prescott, the star of the Scream franchise, is a masterclass in subverting the final girl trope. She's not just a scared teen surviving a slasher flick, and here's why Sidney stands out. Sidney's backstory is steeped in tragedy. Her mother's brutal murder casts a long shadow, making her a target for the Ghostface killer. Despite the trauma, Sidney refuses to be a victim. Sydney is no damsel in distress. She's sharp and uses pop culture knowledge and horror movie tropes to her advantage, turning the killer's game against them. She's resourceful, using everyday objects as weapons and outsmarting her attackers. Throughout the Scream franchise, Sydney faces multiple ghost faced killers, each with a different motive. She doesn't become jaded, instead, she grows stronger and more determined to survive. 
becoming a symbol of unwavering resilience. I mean, the fact that she has survived six movies speaks volumes to her determination and grit. Now, this next one may come as a surprise to those who have followed the channel and know me. Laurie Strode from John Carpenter's Halloween is a genre-defining final girl. Unlike the naive babysitters and friends around her, Laurie is a complex and relatable character who has awareness. Here's what makes her such a compelling heroine. Throughout the Halloween franchise, Laurie transforms from a babysitter thrust into a terrifying situation to a hardened survivor. The trauma of her encounter with Michael Myers shapes her life, but it doesn't break her. She becomes resourceful and prepares for his potential return, showcasing a fierce determination to protect herself and her loved ones. Faced with a near indestructible killer, Lori doesn't give up. She uses her environment and whatever weapons she can find to fight back. Her resourcefulness is evident in the original film's climax, and even more so in the 2018 sequel where she outsmarts Michael Myers and traps him in her burning house. Okay, it's not a cage, baby. It's a trap. Lori's strength goes beyond the physical. She endures unimaginable trauma, but never loses sight of her will to survive. This inner strength allows her to confront Michael repeatedly, becoming the symbol of unwavering courage in the face of pure evil. So, we've got one entrant left in this ranking rumble, but who could it be? We'll find out in just a minute, but first we have to take a short break. So stick around for more WWH action. If you're looking to save 20% off of your order from Redcon 1, all you have to do is type in code ANDREWDREAMER12 when you're checking out and you will immediately receive 20% off. Head over to ProWrestlingTees.com slash ANDREWDREAMER to check out some of my merchandise. And last but not least, head over to Patreon and consider becoming a member of the WWH Universe. We got a lot of really cool perks over there and we would love to have you. All right, it is time to finally unveil our final girl champion. Aaron Harson from the 2011 film You're Next flips the script on the final girl trope. Unlike the innocent victim audiences often see, Aaron possesses a secret past that equips her to become a brutal survivor. This might be shocking, but I love this character. It didn't make sense to put her anywhere else on this list, but here's what makes her such a refreshing final girl. Aaron's seemingly sweet demeanor masks a surprising strength. It's revealed she was raised by a survivalist father, giving her a unique skill set for handling violence and navigating dangerous situations. She's adept at using weapons, improvising traps, and staying calm under pressure. Confronted by masked killers, Aaron sheds any hesitation and becomes a formidable opponent. Oh! 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 She uses her skills lethally, eliminating threats with a cold efficiency that leaves audiences both surprised and impressed. Erin isn't just fighting for survival, though. She's driven by a desire to protect the people around her, at least until she learns their true intentions. This fierce determination fuels her actions and allows her to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. And there you have it. Erin from Your Next is our final girl champion. All right, horror fam. That's it for this ranking rumble. Did your favorites make the cut? Let me know in the comments below who you think should have been ranked higher or even who you'd crown the ultimate scream queen. And hey, if you're feeling inspired, share your own final girl ranking in the comments too. Let's keep the horror conversation going. But before you dive into the comments section, smash that like button, subscribe for more WWH content, and remember, in the squared circle of horror, there's no count out for nightmares. My name is Andrew Dreamer, and this is Wrestling With Horror.